Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys know, I've had the race bread wing on for quite a bit of time now. And uh, the way they have this set up is it's mounted to the, uh, a body panel that energy goes to the car and you know the downforce works. I wanna make this a chassis mounted wing. So what we're gonna end up be doing is getting rid of these mounts here. And we're going to be tying into the original spots where the uh, crash bar went. So I took that piece off. What we're left with is three studs on each side. We're gonna drill a hole. So we have four holes now, four studs and uh, plate, plate, aluminum upright. And the wing will sit roughly a little bit further back than what it is right now. So we're gonna give that a try here in a couple minutes. I'm gonna take you along and we'll see how it turns out. So I'm not uh, a fabricator by any means. I'm gonna enlist the help of my friend, Sean Speed, AKA Sean. He knows a little bit of thing or two about fabrication. You may have seen this car if you're a SoCal Miata guy. I personally think it's the fastest uh, NA Miata on the track circuit, at least in SoCal. We're kind of gonna be copying his setup, not exactly, but it, this is kind of the concept, but this is a rough idea of what it's supposed to look like. If you wanna see more of this car, uh, I, I love his build and I wanna share it. Put a lot of work into it. He just got it back up running now. A little bit of a, some, some motor secrets in this car, still naturally aspirated, but um, if you guys care to know, I, I'd love to do a video on it. Let me know in the comments and we'll, uh, we'll do a video on it. For the video now, this is my video. Welcome to my channel. Like and subscribe if you want to see more lift content. So first step, we're going to take the wing off. Okay, so wings off, uprights are off. Sean recommends taking off the trunk lid so we can, why? <laughs> so we can get our nice little chassis mount as tight to the body as possible. Okay. And then later on, we can put the trunk back on and we can notch it to fit where the uprights are gonna go up. That sounds good. And then probably need to take off this keyhole for the uh, trunk. All right, I'm gonna take the trunk lid off. Okay, so we have the trunk lid off and uh, I think it'd be easier if uh, Sean Speed explained what what his plan of attack is for this. Frankly, I have no plan. All I know for now is that the center to center on where those mounts are gonna hit the wing is 27 and a half inches. So I'm gonna find the center of the car by using those studs, mark it, find the center of 27 and a half, and then mark that on the outside. And we're gonna know that's where we need to have the edge of the mounts we're gonna bolt to the car. And then I think that's it for now. And then we'll, we'll come up with the next step. Okay. And just what really makes me happy about doing this is if all goes to plan, which according to Sean, he says it's going to be, um, I'm not going to have to re riv nut these or any new bracket to the foil itself. I was thinking when we were trying to come up with this, that maybe this is going to have to come out to here, or it's just going to have to be riv nutted. Sean obviously said that wouldn't have been a problem anyways, but it'd be really cool if I can just re-keep these mounts, don't have to mess with them, just drill new holes into the new uprights, and then my, all my adjustment is right here. So that would be pretty sweet. So, but yeah, we're gonna do the next thing and uh, I'll get back on the camera once we're on the next step. All you need to know is that all this stuff is correct. All this is correct, according to Sean. You so. don't know what this means, but I do, and that's all that matters. So we have some, some stock material here. Sean's gonna measure. It's gonna be four inches tall and a fi about five and a half inches wide. It's so much easier just to pay people to work on your car. It's, I, I can understand why everyone does it now on YouTube. It's really amazing. Mitch <laughs> fucking walked up to this morning and he hands me a check with no number on it and says, have fun. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> So we just finished cutting the two pieces of stock and uh, this is a clip of us walking back to the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is pretty like cool. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of that. Yeah. <laughs> Angelus Oaks, that's cool. I think that's good, I think. So what's odd about these studs is they're not they're, symmetrical. They're not symmetrical and there's only three, which that's not a problem, but they're not three per side. So if you look at the other side, it's not even mirrored. On the right hand side, there's a stud on the top on the inside. Yep. 
left hand side, the cell's on the bottom. Yeah. So we're just gonna drill a hole and put four bolts on each side. Yep. Well, That's the plan. Three knots on a bolt. Yep. Three knots on a bolt and a nut. I don't know if they need to see that, but no, they need to see it. The world needs to know. <laughs> All right. So you don't need to film this part. This is just gonna be Sean says I shouldn't film this. This is gonna be where I fucking spill my spaghetti trying to figure <laughs> out where these holes are supposed to be. We got a new helper. There she goes. Oh, there she, yeah, she's gone. All right. It works. It's very ghetto. This guy's a fake fabricator. We're building a chassis, not waiting for the N MX-5 and you're laughing. He almost said NC. He hates saying NC. I don't know why. There's one plate done. The, measurement, the measurements weren't perfect, but that's why they created larger drill bits so you can just keep making the holes bigger until it eventually fits. Yeah. Sean says it's gonna work, it's gonna work. <laughs> Trust me, source me. So the material I was able to purchase for the uprights is a, a bar, a six foot bar of 6061 aluminum. And we're doing three foot sections for each side. That's a little higher than what we're gonna do. So we're gonna be able to, you know, notch it down a little bit if needed, but we're gonna cut this thing in half, six inches wide, and it's three eighths thick. Not very heavy, but it is still strong enough. It's basically mimicked off of his, his setup. So this is three eighths, six inch. All right, we're going to the bandsaw. We got the bandsaw. I don't know what to do with my hand. <laughs> Sean recommended we mount this to the wing. We can kind of suspend the wing up in the air and get a good representation on where it's gonna land at towards the, uh, the mounts on the car. Probably pretty close, I think. I'm gonna set the uh, tripod down um, at a couple different angles so we can give a better representation of what the wing's going to look like mounted. It'll be nice to actually see the video so we can see what it looks like from a distance. Go a little higher ears. So Sean is okay at welding. Not the best, but... We like to have dimes. <laughs> no, he's actually really good and he... He's always hard on himself, but it's a too bad that we're gonna have to grind this one off because it has to be flat because it's up against the car. <laughs> All right, let's go. After Sean welded the plates onto the mounts that will go onto the car, we're gonna take these to the grinder. We have to knock down the weld on the back side. That way the thing can sit flush against the chassis because right now the weld is holding it away. Correct. Looks pretty good. Moving along. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. Trunk lids back on the wing stands are bolted in. We're not using these smaller bolts. This is just for kind of testing right now. And then once everything is on, what we're gonna end up doing is um, kind of making a nice little curve, get this excess material off. It'll look pretty nice, but this is kind of the result so far. The attack on the foil is almost the exact same I had it when it was in its other position. We uh, straightened up the end plates and uh, that's kind of where it's sitting at right now. I'll give you a view from the front. <laughs> yeah, do you think it's tall? So we might, we might cut, yeah, we're gonna cut a little bit off the top. But that's, it's really where we're at right now, so it's moving along. That thing looks freaking beefy. It almost looks like I need an extra three or four horsepower <laughs> to use this thing. 
Okay, so Sean has radiused the bottom of the stand and we are going to notch three inches off the top. So it'll be just above the roof line. And what was the reason we're angling it again? I'm just basing it off of the way Ray's brand had there is because when we just had the two holes fly out the top, like with the wing at full positive attack, it was barely almost flat. Gotcha. So if we match the way they have it, I think it's going to give us our full range of adjustment in positive and negative flows. Okay. And then um, we notch the trunk. So when this trunk comes down, it'll land right, hopefully right in the middle of that. Can we close that now? Okay. Let's give it, good. Let's give it a try. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna, let go, I'm gonna let go of this right here. You're seeing something so perfect in your life? <laughs> and we were thinking, what are the chances we could use the race spread mounts that were already, I used for the wing setup to even give this more stability. They almost land right in the exact same location. So we're gonna give that a try, but it's moving along. I love the radius at the bottom. And then we'll notch the top and we'll get back to it. So this is where we're ending off today. We've got a lot, <laughs> basically it's 85, 85%. I can go to the track right now. Yeah, it's, it is just, I have never, <laughs> it looks so crazy with a chassis mount. Like for reference, I, I mean, the only other chassis mount wing that's kind of available is from Nine Lives and they mount up here into like the quarter panel inside. But this is about as this chassis mount as it gets right here. It just completely changed the entire look of the car. We're gonna fix that ugliness of the uh, exhaust down there next time. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Thanks to this guy a lot. He, he helped me out a lot. He, he really understands this stuff and he loves doing it too. So it was cool watching him work. What do you guys think I should paint the uprights and all the little mounts? Should I do any sort of like contrasting color? Should it be all black? The whole back of the bumper, I think I'm gonna do black or the, the body of the where the bumper used to be. But the uprights and the mounts, maybe some contrasting colors, that'd be kind of cool. Maybe some blue, I don't know. That's about it. If you guys liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys in the next video.